I know where I came from. Where you came from, the uh where you come from? Straight hood, baby, man. Get, just give me the block cheese. Hey, I used to have a cheese just came in a big block. He had to cut it off. Hey, hey. Is this right here what you want? The cheese that you say would melt when you put it under the board. Put it in the oven on 600 and the cheese be not like, no, I will not give hey, in. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are going to make some delicious, juicy, steakhouse tasting burgers and we're going to mix them up in here in the kitchen but then I'm going to go outside and fix them on the blackstone. Of course I've washed my hands. They are thoroughly clean. Wash your nasty hands. Do not be in the kitchen with nasty hands y'all. That's just nasty. And even on today I've taken, I usually keep my thumb rings on all the time but when I'm mixing up meat I take those off so I've already taken off my thumb rings because we're going to have to mix up this meat with, um, I'm going to mix it up with my hands. Always make sure you pay extra attention to your nails. Make sure that you've cleaned out up under your nails before you get to digging in the meat because whatever bacteria or gook or germs that that's under your nails goes in your meat. Okay, so especially, of course always wash your hands but Pay extra, extra, extra attention to your hands and your nails when you're going to use your hands to mix up meat. Don't be nasty, y'all, okay? All right, so let me first start by sharing with you the ingredients that we're going to need to make these wonderful, wonderful burgers. Of course, we need hamburger, and I'm using two pounds of hamburger and that's what we have here we're using I've already chopped up some onions like a small onion and bell pepper and I have some fresh garlic and I saved this little last piece of garlic because I want to show you guys just in case you don't know how to get that um, peel off of the garlic when you're using fresh garlic so I'll show you guys that in just a minute then we're going to use two slices of bread and we're going to take the crust off the edge of the bread. We're using some milk. We're going to soak that bread in the milk. I have salt, some pepper. We're going to be using the ever-loving ketchup. We have Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce, however you like to pronounce it and some Montreal steak seasoning. And then of course we can't forget our wonderful buns that we're going to use. We're using these nature's own, these uh, brioche style hamburger buns today. Okay. So let me bring you over here with me again you guys. I'm going to try to zoom in without turning off the camera so I can show you guys. I'm looking for my knife there again. So I can show you guys just in case you don't know how you get this onion peel off of, not the onion peel, the garlic peel off of the garlic when you use fresh garlic. So you guys hold on. I'm trying not to take you too fast and make you dizzy. when you're wanting to get this peel off of this fresh garlic. You just take a knife and with your hands you're going to hit it, okay? And I usually do it a couple of times. And that usually helps this kind of cracks that um, peel and then it helps it easily to come off easily, okay? See, sometimes I don't be feeling like doing all that. That's why I'm, that's why I cheat with my garlic. So now that we have that done, the first thing we're going to do is take the ends off of this bread.
say that for the birds. Now that we have the ends off the bread, you grab a fork. two slices of bread to this milk. We're actually wanting it to be kind of chunky. Okay. Just dump it in there. Two teaspoons of salt, and then we're going to add a teaspoon of the pepper. Mixed up really good. That's two tablespoons of ketchup. state season. You want to mix this up very good. Okay, now that we have this mixed up, up our hamburger. Just want to break it up before I add all this stuff to it. It's our onion 
some bell pepper. Mix it up good. I'm cut it in half. Let's see. Do at least six burgers. My burp is quite as big as my dude's number one and two, so I may have a couple that are a little, just a tad bit smaller. them in a ball because when I get them out there to the griddle I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash them. Smash them and then get a good sear on them. Okay, let's get outside to the griddle and wash my hands all right we're out here at the blackstone we're going to get these burgers on this griddle i'm going to add just a little bit of my crisco to the griddle Now we're going to smash them so we can get a good sear on them.
y'all that this ain't real life YouTube channel over here. I noticed my griddle sounded like it was getting a little quiet. My burgers sounded like they were getting a little quiet. I don't know if I have ran out of gas or what. Dude number one is not here to look at it. So we're going to take these burgers in the house and finish them on the stovetop. Well, I can honestly say I am just thankful. I'm thankful that I have options when it comes to cooking. So all is not lost. We just going to finish what we started in the house. Hey, my burgers got quiet and I'm like, what in the world? And I'm not getting ready to fool with that gas like that. Like I said, I can't tell if it's out of gas or what. And to think, I purchased a gas gauge to let us know when we're out of gas. And we've not put it on yet, so. Anywho. We're going to keep on cooking. Okay, it looks like we've got a good sear. And let's get these clips. Y'all, we're gonna fix these burgers. Yeah, my dude number two here fixing a French fry. When I'm in the kitchen, I am not dude number two. You're not dude number two when well, you're in the well, kitchen? Let me pray that when I'm in the kitchen cooking, I'm not dude number two. Okay, excuse me. What, what? I am Chef Boyar Steve. Chef Boyar Steve, okay. When I'm in the kitchen. All right. Please get it correct. Get it correct. Look and then. This. Look at this, people. Look at the French look, fries. Look, listen, you hear that crunchiness? Cause you don't want we don't want no soft fries around here. It's that crunchy French fry. Take taste one, ma. Listen. Mm. That's the difference mm. between that's the difference between mm. French fries and potatoes. Mm. Mm. And then you got the other dude over there fixing a sandwich. But I know it. I'm all on top of it. I'm going in. Going in, in there like swimwear. I'm going in. All right. So we're gonna put these burgers. I'm gonna give you a nice pretty piece of Oh, let me see. Tomato. Nice, some pretty tomato. Pretty tomato. Pretty tomato gonna do. Would you like would you like some pepper and salt on your burger, please? No, I do you not. Want? Okay, I'm just asking because I go all the way with mine. You know mine. I'm going look. Put everything. Mustard, mayonnaise, pepper, slaw, ketchup, chili. Oh, I had the burger that was that was the darkest. It's like, oh yeah, that one I did is mine. She don't see these burgers. She don't I she don't suck a hole in, in the lettuce to grab off a little piece. Oh, wait See these burgers, y'all? Mm -hmm, mm hmm Well, how is she supposed to get lettuce? Well, yeah, this is pull it by, by a little way. Don't, don't, don't give me no soft lettuce. I'm giving you no soft lettuce, but I'm giving you some yours are crunchy lettuce. There. Okay, give me give me Let's one see. of your hamburgers. This one is mine, right? That's here. yours, that's yours, okay. Yes. Would you like some cheese on your the hamburger? Sure. Which can burst it now? I want the Havarti cheese, please, sir. In the, Just in give the me. Drawer. Look, I look. I know where I came from. Pat, yeah, can you give me one of the cute? Oh, whatever. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I know where I came from. Where you came from, the uh? Where you come from? Straight hood, baby. Man, get, just give me the block cheese. Hey, I used to have a cheese. Just came in a big block. You had to cut it. Hey, hey. Is this right here what you want? The cheese that you say would melt when you put it under the broth. Put it in the oven on 600 and the cheese be like, no, I will not give in. <laughs> you see it? You see it? Here you go, here you go, your cheese. Me, I want meal. Man, look. 
give me some yellow cheese. Some orange cheese. I mean, you got yellow cheese. Come in. Oh, man. That is not yellow. Yellow is yellow. Yeah, you get mayonnaise on yours? Yeah. Here you go. What you got? You missed one? That's, that's the bottom on top. Yeah, I got two tops. I got the bottom. I'll put mayonnaise on it though. So. Y'all, we're going to show y'all a picture of my pretty burger. There you go. Excuse me. Yeah, okay. That's yours. You got to put it together. That's yours put together. Oh, yay. Give me some real mayonnaise, man. I need helmets. That yeah, miracle whip is like, I don't know. Give me Look a at this burger. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Y'all want some? Y'all want some hamburger? Yeah. Can't have none. Can't have none. Can't have none. Ooh. Can't have none. Can't have none. Mmm. Mmm. Excuse me, y'all. Wait a minute. Working on your jaw muscles. Mm. Stretch mm -hmm. wide. Right. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Despite the fact the Blackstone didn't want me to be great today. Blackstone was tired. Blackstone was tired. Blackstone ran up out so of So I do know one said we need more um ran up out of gas. I quit. We need more gas. See that's the difference with him. See he is it's the difference between a man's burger and not quite a man's burger. He uses Chili and slow. That's I it. I like don't chili and slow. slow. You don't use chili and slow, would you? Slow. Just slow. slow. Just slow. You don't even put chili. No. Oh, that's a preschool burger right there. Yeah. See, a man burger is lettuce, tomato, mustard I ketchup. No man. Well, I'm just saying, for, uh, no, you're not a man, but your, your cheese would take off the edge. Would you? What kind of cheese you use? The Havarti cheese. Havarti. If you can't it's pronounce okay. it, it's just not the right cheese. There you go. That's the point I'm making. Anywho, what else? What else? The burgers are cheese. wonderful. Cheese. Thank you guys so much our for cheese watching. Cheese. You said cheese. You know. Mine said cheese, cheese. cheese. Nah, cheese too. Nah, how about, how, how, what how, you want to say? How what? Thank how, you guys how, so much for watching. We already look H forward cheese. to you joining us again next time. I'll say something like something yellow. Something yellow. Something orange looking. This is something like something orange looking. Go with it. Here. Right here, that's what I should say. Here, here you go. Bye, y'all. <laughs>